All right, so welcome to the Corner Office Podcast. I've got here a very special guest, Jalen Acklin from the Auto Red Blacks. Thank you for coming on and doing this, man. Um, star receiver, I would say number one option. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, like you were leading the lead in uh, receiving yards as well, so that's crazy. Um, I think you're second now, but I think after this bye week, you're going to recharge. Come back and you can take that take that spot, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna tell them just throw me the ball every play. So. <laughs> Yo, that it won't seems last like they long. do, man. It <laughs> seems like they do, and like every game that I'm watching, it's you, you deep threat, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes I can be like a possession receiver, which okay. I mean, that's how a lot of white receivers are. They're like possession, like just catch it and get down. But yeah, they, they've been using me a little bit as a deep threat, so it's been nice. It's a been a nice change up for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you've been playing football your whole life, obviously, right? Yeah, my dad was a football coach, so I grew up around it. Um, I think I've been playing ever since I was like seven or eight. Okay, wow, so, a lot of hits to the head. Uh, that's it's, it's it's it's. Does that ever worry you? No, nah, I'm already a ticking time bomb. It doesn't <laughs> really matter. It wouldn't matter. Yo, because like I look at them like the blindside hits. It's like fuck, I, I would die. It's no. crazy. No, yeah, I. You, like, whenever your body is relaxed and you don't know that it's coming, it doesn't really hurt. Oh, really? Yeah, because unless your head hits the ground, because, like, the turf's pretty hard. But it's the ones where, like, you tense up and, like, you just are like, I'm going to fuck this dude up, is the ones that hurt the most. Really? Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it- you know, that don't really happen too much for me because if I see somebody, I'm not trying to, like, get tackled like that. I'm yeah. Unless it's, like, I'm pissed off. Yeah, I see you dodge a lot of tackles, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, I can scoot around yeah, a little you, bit. Yeah, a little yeah. elusiveness. Yeah, I asked, I asked Darvin and Sharad this. What, what, what's your four four time? Uh, forty yard dash time. Uh, four four nine. Four four nine. I was like, okay. Basically, I told them I was like, look, what what position do you think I could play in in on the team? And you want me to answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm five seven. Kicker. <laughs> That's exactly what they said. Punter. Actually, no. You know what? They said holder. Holder? I was like, come on, give me a little uh, bit of credit, man. Come on. That's how they're... Personally, I'd never let a man talk to me like that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's a lot bigger than me, and uh, yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think like, you, you'd be more. You'd be a kicker. I got a good I got a good leg, man. Did you play soccer? Yeah. You look like... Soccer, like, yeah. You look like you'd be like soccer, a ball and Soccer, ass. baseball? Is that popular in the States? <laughs> Not soccer, unfortunately. Wait, wait, wait. Soccer, baseball. What in the world? Like... Okay. What is that? Okay, so you're on a softball field, and you're... The, that's they, kickball. Kickball. Okay, so that's we call that soccer baseball. Do you call that soccer There baseball? ain't no way you guys call that yeah, soccer baseball. Yeah, we call baseball. it soccer baseball. It's fucking kickball, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, it's just kickball. Yeah, and I like, used to play kickball a lot then. Oh. Yeah. Canada calls this shit soccer baseball. Soccer baseball. Yeah. Nah, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm going right? to have to go talk to Trudeau. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, he's not far from you, so... Yeah, dude, he's got me fucked up. We're yeah. not calling that soccer, soccer baseball. baseball. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so, yeah, you're from the States. You're from um, Mountain View, Missouri. Yes, sir. Born and raised. I heard you on another podcast. You said you graduated with 72 people in your class. Yep. That's insane. How many people live there? 2,500, I believe. Okay. Is how many is in the city. Wow. Or town. It's damn near a village. Okay. So, like, when you grew up, um, like, w- what was there in the town? Uh, there's a there's a Walmart, like a small Walmart. A Walmart in two thousand with two thousand people. Yeah, but it's uh, it was actually the smallest Walmart in North America at one time. <laughs> I swear, it's like as big as your house, honestly. Okay. Which, like, for a Walmart, you know that you need it to be bigger than that. You want it to be like a super center. Okay, yeah. But uh, we also have a Sonic. You guys don't even know what Sonic is. Do Sonic you? is like, uh, is that a fast food store? No, it's like a, it's like a diner. It, it's like a it's a dine it's a drive through. Okay, diner. So like, not a drive through, but a drive in. Okay, oh, okay. So they come out on like roller skates and they give you like your cheeseburger, or whatever, or your shake. Okay, so that's very gimmicky. It's a very like American, like nineteen fifties, sixties type. Yeah. Uh, but it's really, really good. It's probably my favorite spot in Mountain View. Okay. It probably is, yeah. So, like, what do you what do you usually do there? If you were, if we would go there right now, what would we do? What would I? You, what would I we mean, do? Like, if you take me there. <laughs> uh, 
first off, everyone would know you guys are outsiders. Yeah, I'm uh, the only Chinese guy there. Yeah, you'd be the only Chinese guy there. So they'd be like, <laughs> yo, Jalen, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> and then I'd be like, oh, this is my dude from uh, Canada, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, y- you can... There's not much to do. Like, I don't there's know, there's like okay. mountains, right? You go hiking? Yeah, there's Ozark Mountains. You can go hiking, but... The problem with hiking down there is, like, if you start hiking and you get lost or, like, you end up on someone else's property, you might get like shot. Time. Really, eh? And, like, in Missouri, if you get shot on someone else's property, that's your problem. Really? So Trespassing is, is, is that's... Uh, it's, uh, it's everyone's word against every, the other person's word. Okay, he can be wow. like, oh, he was going to attack me. That's and so like, scary. That, you're dead in a bush or a ditch, you know? Yeah. Just like, <laughs> so wow. I don't really go hiking like that. Okay. But you can also kayak. There's rivers and stuff you can kayak, which that's just, that's fun. I like doing that. Uh, the internet's terrible, so you're not going to be able to play video games or nothing. Is you not a gamer? I'm a huge gamer. That's oh, one of the reasons game. why I moved is because I couldn't play games at you know high speed. and I couldn't download <laughs> new games. It's that bad? It's that bad. It's bad, dude. Bad. And your family still lives there? My family does still live there, yeah. So how do you get in touch with them? I, oh, I guess you call them on the phone or the yeah, cell so, service? What's messed up about Missouri is that, like, the cellular service, we have U.S. Cellular, and, like, whenever my mom would come to Canada, she would have no cell service. And I was like, Mom, like, you have to get on a international plan or something, right? Yeah. And I would call her, and, like, I'd get roaming charges, whatever. But, yeah, it, it's easy for me to contact her now because she's on, you know, my phone plan, uh, AT&T, which is the best. Okay. The best, honestly. But... Credit to the states. If we have an like a phone company go down, we can still use our debit card. Okay. So, unlike yeah, that, you guys. Yeah, that's true. You're right. That that we, was brutal. Yeah. And if a storm comes through, we usually have power like the <laughs> next day. <laughs> yeah, it takes <laughs> us a while now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but okay. I, yeah, I've lived through like a hundred tornadoes and really. You were, I mean, you were obviously here whenever the tornado or whatever came. Yeah, through, yeah. Like that little storm. Yeah. Yo, I didn't. We didn't have power for like a week and a half. I know. That's I was like, yo. You get power back in Missouri, like, yeah, I, right away? I've lived through, like, probably. Like, that's not that bad? 300. Of 20, that. Like, of that, yeah. That was the worst thing that's happened to us in, like, 20 years. Are you serious? I swear to God. I could have swore even in Hamilton we had storms like that whenever I was there. Like, it's but, just not a thing. So that was my first week here, and I was like. Oh, really? Yes. And oh, like, my God. And I was like, yo, do these guys not know how to handle a storm? Like, <laughs> I was just chilling, yeah. and uh, everyone was, like, freaking out. Like, we don't have power. I was like, yeah, why don't we have power yet? And I was like, <laughs> like, I thought that they would get it up, but I don't know the, you know. You guys probably weren't prepared for it because you guys never. But I didn't know yeah. that, like, at the time. Well, you know, we like, don't know what to do. We don't have, like, bunkers or anything like that. Yeah. Like, no, what's crazy is, like, you know those storm sellers that, like, you see on TV? Yeah. You have like, those? Yes. All all around Missouri, we have them. <laughs> all around Missouri. Like, they're like the, the, the semi-circle looking Yeah, things. yeah, and if a tornado comes, like, families would get in those, and they'd have, like, mason jars with, like, food in them and stuff just in case you're stuck in there. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, we don't. We definitely don't have that here. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, yeah, we have hella tornadoes okay. and stuff. So, Missouri, like, is it, does the show... You've watched Ozarks? I haven't watched it. You no. haven't watched it? I've heard of it. As any okay, basically it's just it's just about like all the shit that goes on, like the drugs and all that stuff, the cartel stuff in the Ozarks. But it looks really nice. Like they did a really good job of making it look nice. That's why I thought it was like really expensive, really Yeah. Everyone wants to go there. Oh nah. <laughs> no. It's not like that <laughs> in real no. life. Nah. Uh, Everyone's moving out of there. Oh, uh, okay. But like Lake of the Ozarks is nice. That's where like kids from around there go and party. Oh, okay, I've never been there personally, but that's because like I was always doing stuff like with football or you know other stuff. I didn't really have time to do that. Um, but yeah, the the houses there are super cheap. You can find a house, a nice house for like a nice like three bedroom house for probably ninety five thousand. Really? 100. Wow. Yeah. U S. U S dollars. Okay. Yeah. It'd be about one hundred and twenty five Canadian. Okay. Are Are you used to Canadian dollars now? Yeah, or do you still or, no? But do you still like think of everything as U.S. dollars? I still think of everything. Okay, as you US still dollars. use Fahrenheit too, right? Yes, I still use Fahrenheit. You don't. Yes. If I told you it's twenty degrees outside, I, you'd be like, I, "What?" I, yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, what, I, uh, what is it right now? Like 
18? It's, it's probably like 18, yeah. 18, 19. That's a good guess. That's probably like, what, 72? Something like that. It might be damn near 65 out here. Yeah. I got this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go buy this. So if you're if you're from Missouri, are you a Chiefs fan? or? Oh, hell no. No. I like the Broncos. Oh, really? And why? Uh, My dad liked them whenever I was growing up. He okay. liked John Elway, so okay. that's why I like the Broncos. Gotcha. Um, and so you said, obviously, from a small town. So you like, what, 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 are you country boy or what? Like, you grew up in, like, a, was it a neighborhood? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, a I'm definitely a hillbilly for sure. Okay, but I'm not really country. Like, I don't be, I don't listen to country music. You don't listen to like country? That. Nah. I was gonna, I was gonna hype that. I was like, for sure, Jalen listens to the country. <laughs> no, what, no, are you, no. What, what are you bumping pregame? What am I bumping pregame? Uh, Zombie by the Cranberries is probably one of my top ones, and. Uh, Nardo Wick. What the hell is that? You don't know Nardo no. Wick? No. Who no, wants smoke? No. Riot? No. Knock, I, knock. I don't, I don't know who da, this da, is. Da, da, da. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who that is. Do you, Jordan, do you know who that is? Is, is this rap? Hey, Nardo Wick is a stone cold killer. Is this rap? Yes. And he's okay. actually about that. Like, like, he's, it, like, you get some rappers, like, you can just tell they're just talking. Like, Nardo Wick is about yeah. that shit. I like, so I like shit I like rap. It. Like, like like mumble rap. You like like Lil Pump? Yeah, Lil Pump. But like, okay, he's a shit version of like. Okay, so I'm talking about like, like I mean, it's like you know, like Young Thug, you know. Mm. Or I mean, I like uh, you like Juice, Juice World. Yeah, he's pretty good. You like him too. You you bump him. It's okay. I, okay. I think my favorite artist of all time would be Lil Peep. Do you know what's, his, what's his big song? Star Shopping. Okay, and then he has Beamer Boy. Is he white or black? Yeah, he's white. He okay. died though. R.I.P. Oh no, I don't. I'm just kidding. Then I don't know who you're talking about. But I know Lil Pump, Gucci Gang. Yeah, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Yeah, Gucci gang. I, I do. I do love that song a lot. Man. Uh, do you like Six Nine? Six Nine. Yeah, I fuck with it. You nine. fuck with it. All right. Yeah. Um, I think people hate on him too much. Yeah, people do hate on him. Yeah. But when you came here, you must have like like Drake is huge. Yeah. So. Man, I used to like Drake too, but I came up here and I was like, "Everybody's like these dudes are corny about him up here." I know, man. Like it's weird. Like everybody tries to like pretend like they're Jamaican in Toronto. Yeah, I was gonna and get into they the call whole everything Toronto ting. thing. You ting, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what they? I used to have a buddy back in Hamilton. Like we would we'd go to the bar and he'd be like, uh, "Yeah, I'm trying to pick up some tings." Yeah, tings. And yeah. I'd be like, "Shut up!" <laughs> like <laughs> tings. Yeah, yeah. they all because everybody wants tries to be Jamaican. That's, yeah, that's like cool in Toronto. Yeah, it, I, I don't like Toronto. Yeah, I, was I don't. Ask you. I don't like the Argos. I don't like Toronto. Why? It. I just don't. I. I. I think they're all. Not all the players, because I know some of the players are cool, yeah. but like the whole city's cap. Mm. Like you know what I mean? It, I know. Like the whole city. The whole city's just cap. Yeah. Like they're not actually like about that. Yeah. But they act like it. <laughs> Like, the Leafs suck, but, like, if you ask someone, you'd think that they won the Stanley <laughs> yeah. Cup last year. Every year they're like, oh, we're about to win the Stanley Cup. Best team ever. We're ready. I know. Yeah. And then I got I got Argos fans always in my DMs or some really? shit. But I don't say nothing back. Um, I grew up in Toronto, but, like, I, I, I've, I've lived here for 13 years, so I'm kind of from here now. Ottawa's sick, dude. Ottawa's sick, man. It's, like, just the right size. It's not, uh, it's not a big city. It's not a small city. Um, but yeah, no, I do like it here. Yeah. And not, I do like some Toronto people. Some Toronto people are nice to yeah. me and they're cool. Like some of my best friends are from Toronto. What, do, what do they overall say in the, the city is cat. What do they say in the DMs? Uh, it's just like <laughs> stupid stuff. Like you're, sh- you're shit. Nah, uh, they, they talk about me like dropping a pass in the gray cup to win it. Or like they'll say oh, okay. that I'm like, uh, I'm a douchebag or I'm a dickhead. Just normal stuff like that. Okay. Like, just standard. Yeah, just standard, which I am. Like, I know I'm a douche and, like, a dickhead, <laughs> so, like, I don't really care. No, you're chill, man. No, I'm chill, but, like, when I'm talking about out there, like, sometimes I do shit that's, Do you like, talk shit? Yeah, I talk shit. Okay. Yeah. Is that about it? Is, like, is, is that part of the game? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't talk shit and then be a total bum out there. <laughs> it's, like, if I was doing that, I would expect someone to cut me. Yeah. But, like, you know. If if you're gonna talk shit, you better actually have shit to back it up. And yeah. I feel like, you know, yeah. I, I normally do. You do, uh, man. but you know, it, I can't talk shit if we like lose. Yeah. So, 
at some point I got to shut the hell up yeah. and start winning. What do you think the best part of your game is? The best part? Probably consistency and then yeah, toughness. Say, yeah, man. You're consistent. Like, I look at this, uh, I look at the box score, I look at the stats, man. Every every game. It's just, yeah, uh, yeah you're there, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the same person no matter what. Like, I don't give a shit if I drop a pass or, like, Catch that ten, doesn't that doesn't five touchdowns get, like that, that doesn't, doesn't fade you or get you like rattled. I don't I don't give a shit really yeah. eh? like I will for like you know two minutes or so but, but like, the next play if you drop a pass in the next play you're on it next play I'm like throw me that thing like I don't care okay you need that mentality because like I used to play sports like casual like you know rec recreationally yeah I, I would I would feel it I'd be like oh fuck don't throw me the ball man. <laughs> I just fucked up. <laughs> don't, don't pass me the ball, man. <laughs> no, nah, I feel that. And, like, sometimes I even, like, you, it's basic human instinct to get those thoughts yeah. in your mind. But you just got to be like, yeah, fuck it. I'm not afraid of failing. Yeah. Um. So you went to Western Illinois. Mm-hmm. Is that, like, a big party school? or? Uh, yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay, I don't know much about, like, how it works in in the U.S., but I understand fraternities are like a big thing were you, were you in one or no 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 hell no yeah it's not your nah, thing no nah. the see at, at western we didn't really have fraternities like that either okay. like they were there but they weren't big like in some of the other schools so is it a lot of distractions when you're like i'm, I'm assuming you played all all your career no nah, no nah, i didn't play my first three i just played the last oh last okay year. i only played one year you were not on the team i was on the team i just was uh Fat and overweight, <laughs> so I didn't play. Yo, the fattest the round is still a shape, man. Yeah, dude. I, <laughs> right? I just wasn't as fast, and I was like worried about like girls and stuff like that. It was I, I was in a bad mental space. But I feel like everybody goes through a little bit of that, right? Like when you get to college, you get like all your um, you get all your freedom and like yeah. all these all these temptations around you. But, uh, you know, to go through the first three years of that and then play the fourth year and now being a pro, it's like, hey, kudos to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Plus, I was from a small town, so I really wasn't used to all that, you know. So it, it, it's different, It took I guess, me a little eh? bit to get acclimated to it. Okay, yeah, yeah. But I'm good now. Yeah, for I'm sure. <laughs> like, so does, uh, is it like, a, are you like a big thing back in Mountain View? Uh, Probably, I would assume I mean, I so. Know. If there's only 2,000 people, everybody knows you. <laughs> I mean, they probably, yeah, I guess they'd probably say that I'm somewhat of a big deal. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that. No. I'm right. just like them. Yeah. I'm just a little bit, like, cooler. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say, like, um, okay, so you said your best part is consistency. So, like, f- like what about physically? It's like, when you, um, like, when you do the uh, the combine shit, like, what, do you, what was your best thing? My best thing? Um, you know... Probably my quickness, uh, yeah. which I had a pretty – I was pretty good at everything, to be honest. I sucked at bench. I didn't even do it. You didn't do bench? Nah. Hell nah. I do not, like, lift weights like that. Like, yeah. I lift weights, but it's I not. Can't, I can't bench 225. I, my, at my peak form, which is not, not much, I could bench 195 for five. I, I think probably me, same. But okay. you get people, like, old-timers that will say, like, if you don't you work in the that. weight room – like, if you're not working in the weight room, you're not working, like, off the field or nothing. And, like, that's total bullshit. So that's not what it's about. Like, I don't know shit nah. about football. Obviously, you know a lot. Like, yeah, because that's, like, that's how some people would judge your physical ability, right? But Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just never really – I take it seriously. It's just I don't, like, overwork myself. I feel like if you overwork yourself in there, like, you're kind of susceptible to injuries maybe. Yeah. But – you know, what do I know? I just know my body, and I know that my body doesn't really do well with it. Okay. So, like, what do you do, like, to prep for a game? Uh, to prep for a game? I mean, I watch film. I watch how, like, the other D-backs play. Um, so you get, like, access to their film? Yeah, yeah. You get to watch, uh, like, every team's film that you want to. Like, what, like, like iPad or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we just have an app, like, you have called your own- DDS Sport. Oh, okay. So you just you're just like watching them the whole time. Yeah, you can watch whatever you can Taking watch NFL. Shit, you're like yeah, you're watching them. No, yeah, I would I, be too. I'd be obsessed. Yeah, like because you want to like, know you everything. Want about to know them. everything. Yeah, you really do. You want to know like how they play man to man, how they play zone, what like indicators they have, 
what they struggle with. Yeah. Like stuff like that. It's almost like a uh, very calculated. It's like chess. It really is. Yeah, it's like chess. It's just as much mental as physical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. I would say it's actually more mental than physical. Yeah. Really? Wow. Um, So you watch film like, so game day, do you like, is there shit that you eat that like you get prepared for the game or what? Yeah. uh, In the morning, I'll eat pancakes somewhere. Uh, I kind of hop around, you know, right now my favorite's flapjacks, but I could see that changing soon. If I could just find a spot in Ottawa that has like big ass pancakes, but I like really wide. I'm talking like, yeah, big diameter. Yeah. Big diameter. And, and like, what, like, cause I like flapjacks. They're just a little bit too thick for me sometimes. uh, And like three pancakes. No. Yeah. I know what you're talking, what you were thinking there. You want. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Say nothing. Never mind. So you do like <laughs> okay? So just pa- just pancakes. Uh, yeah. And syrup. Just pancakes and syrup. Yeah. So how how much better is the syrup in Canada though? Or do you like Aunt Jemima's? It's. I like IHOP syrup. Have you had okay. IHOP? Like, I've had IHOP once in Buffalo. IHOP is fire. You can't go to Buffalo. You got to go like to a southern state and get okay. IHOP. It's different. Okay. But dude, IHOP is fire. Like okay. that's my favorite spot. So well, in the what's whole world. what what state? Uh, Mississippi. Mississippi, which is where you bought your new house. Yes. Tell tell me about that. Well, it's a house on stilts. Okay. Two bedrooms, two bath. It's pretty nice. It's on it's, the beach, eh? It's right, right on the. I beach, saw your dude. IG post, and I saw you shaking the dude's hand. Bro, that shit is so nice. Whenever yeah, I go yeah. back, like just being able to chill. So are you there a full off season? But, uh, yeah, I had a full off season. No, no, no like you're there the full. Oh, off season. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm there the full off season. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you invite your family to come by. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. I'd, okay. Sometimes my fam can, you know, be intrusive. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> How far is it from uh, where where you, you grew up? Mountain View. Uh, it's like eight hours. Okay, that's not too bad. So you're there, but you're just chilling on the beach. Well, what's there to do there? Or, dude, really? I is it a small town? Yeah, so it's not too big. It's like, I would say probably, you know, 15,000, 20,000 people. Okay. But, I mean, there's a beach, obviously. There's, like, nice beaches that I'd go and lay out at, and then I'd go work out. Yeah. Um, you know, really, really anything you want. They have good-ass internet. I got fiber optic. I just, I honestly play video games so much. You're so obsessed with the internet. So obsessed with the internet, dude. I'm, I... <laughs> If you want to start investing, invest in, like, fiber optic internet. Yeah. Because I think you'd make hella money in, like, the states and the south for sure with that. So you've got great internet there. What do you play? Escape from Tarkov. Don't know what that is. FIFA. FIFA? I do, yeah. You're good? FIFA. I'm about that life on FIFA, yeah. I'm, I'm I feel nice. like I can beat you in FIFA. You probably could. That's you, like, you You look like you're too sweaty at FIFA. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> or 2K? 2K? No, I do not play 2K. You do not play 2K? That shit's Cartoon Network now. That is, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but do you do you play Madden? <laughs> nah, don't play Madden. Just FIFA. Just FIFA and Escape from Tarkov. So only What's Escape from Tarkov? I feel like I, you just made that shit up. Nah, I got a PC, so I play on you're laptop. You're a PC gamer. Okay, yeah, you're a PC real gamer, gamer then. I, I'm, a, I'm a 100% like... About that life, PC game. That's what you do on your downtime. Mm-hmm. Just do you stream? That's what I would have done today, but I had you to get ready in. to come here. Yeah. Did you do you stream? No, not really. Not really. Okay. It stresses me out. Yeah. Because like you gotta, yeah. You, there's so much shit you, you gotta, gotta do talk. with streaming. You gotta talk. You gotta keep people engaged. You gotta and like I just like just vibing with my boys and just playing. Okay, so you got a crew that you play with. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is it a shooter? Do you play Warzone? It's a shooter. Yeah, I play Warzone a little bit. Okay, Fortnite. No. Too cartoony. I used to. Yeah. Too cartoony. Not the cartoon thing. I'm not about those, like, YouTube videos. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, like, uh, do you play golf? A little bit, yeah. Try. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I, tr- I, I really do. I would love I would love to play around in golf with you, man. Yeah. I fucking love golf. Literally any time. Are, are you nice, though? I'm decent. I'm alright. I'm left handed. I got a mean. I'm left handed too. I got a mean drive. Fuck. I told you. Six two. How much you weigh? Uh, 190. Six two, 190, bro. Yeah. Uh, no shit. You got a mean drive. Like, I can pound it. But then, bro, after that, my game goes downhill. Like, chipping. Yeah. Eh? Putting. I'm okay sometimes. Okay. I got my clubs in the back of my car. Just let me know, dude. I'm down any. any You're off seriously? Day. Swear to God. I've been looking I to go play to golf. tomorrow. 
fucking assholes it's your fucking on the team. Birthday. Yeah. Wait, we can go tomorrow. I'm not doing shit. Are you fucking serious? I swear to God. Tomorrow, man. Tomorrow, let's go. I want to buy you a round of golf. golf it's like we play eighteen holes. Yeah, yeah. How long do you take? Like th- three hours. Okay, that's good. Because I go with some friends and they're dumbasses, dude. Like, yeah, we'll I'm be not, out I'm, there for like eight hours. I'm no, like, no, 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 no. I'm like, what are we doing? You know, like we're, no, we're wasting no, no, no. a whole day playing golf. Like I was just trying to go out here with my boys and play golf, and I spend a whole day. No, I'm, well, crack a couple beers. Yeah, because exactly. it's your birthday, and you're okay. turning twenty seven. What what else are you doing for your birthday? Nothing. Uh, my my buddies on the team, the offensive lineman, got me a tape. A table at local at seven. Oh, local. nice! That You're just gonna cool. get lit. No, I'm not gonna get lit. And no. then the next day, I'm supposed to hang out with a girl, but we'll see how that goes. If she doesn't ditch me, yeah. You know, it's my birthday. She better not. Yeah. Um. Do you ever go back during the season to like back home, or do you, do you, do your family come come up here? You said I said you said your mom talked about. Coming up here, right? Yeah, my my mom comes up here after the season. I'll go back home for Christmas, but I don't really stay there that long because no. it doesn't have a beach or anything. You know, you're just a beach boy. I'm a beach boy. Yeah, I'm an island boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So let's let's do like a two second break. Fill that drink up, and uh, we'll get back. All right. Dope. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Welcome back to the Corner Office Podcast. Um, had to refill the drinks, take a piss, mm-hmm. and um, Jalen, I want to talk to you about that wicked catch you had against the Lions. I'm sure you remember that one. Oh yeah, in 2019. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, that was kind of lucky, low key. Lucky? Yeah i I was supposed to run a post on that play and I ended up running a dig, and Dane still threw it to me, and then it, like kind of tipped, and I spun around and caught it. It was it was legitimately this far from the ground. Yeah, yeah. That reminded yeah. me of the like, Julian Edelman catch. I don't know if you remember. Oh that yeah, one. from the Super Bowl. Yeah, from the Super Bowl. I was like, right when I saw that, I was like, yo, that's that's the vibe that that I got <laughs> from there. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you make catches like that, uh, not too like nobody makes catches like that all too often. So I'm sure like that's ingrained in your memory. Yeah, yeah, it, it is for sure. That's, that's one, one of my big nights. One of my big nights. Yeah. Um, and now, so you used to wear eighty on the tie cast. Now you 23. Yeah. What like, like what do those two numbers mean? Eighty didn't mean anything to me. Hamilton just kind of gave it to me and just I stuck with it. And then I was like, oh, I get to pick whatever number I want now. And then I didn't want to be anything anyone had ever been before. So no, no players at the twenty three. I mean, not wide receiver. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. And then you know, I always liked Michael Jordan growing up. So I was like, you see that documentary. Yeah. That's motivating, man. Yeah, dude. I, like, Especially as an athlete, probably. Yeah, he just has that, like, mentality of he I always admit. thinks he's the best, not afraid yeah. of failing. So that, that's why I always liked Michael Jordan. I mean, that's what you just told me, like, a little while ago. Exactly. You're like, I don't that's care if I miss the last cash. I won't, I'm going to ca- cash this one. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, what you got to do. Yeah. So, okay, 23 is a sick number. Um, and you said you like LeBron? Uh, he's all right. Yeah. All right. I like LeBron. Uh, you play basketball? Yeah. I'm a baller. Okay. I'm all right. Um, yeah, Jordan's a baller too. He's oh, really? playing. He's playing college. Oh, really? Yeah, Where at? yeah. Did, so it's a, it's, oh, a, okay. it's a college in Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. Did you used to play high school ball? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. like guard. Uh, yeah, I was like a little jack of all trades, master of none. Okay, nice, nice. Mm-hmm. And like, what? What? I'm sure you're pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't bad. Like, I could, I could like dunk, shoot threes. You can dunk. I couldn't play defense. You can dunk. What do you mean? Yeah, I got a 40 inch vert. I gotta see that man. I get yam right now. Really? A basketball goal. You had a forty inch vert. You're six two. Oh fuck, eh? You probably windmill. Shit, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> can you, yeah. you palm and everything? Yo, yeah, no yeah, shit, yeah. man. Yeah, I can dunk. Okay, so like, was there like a point where you were like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll go basketball or hell no, nah, no nah. football. Yeah, but basketball wasn't. Basketball wasn't it for me. I knew like the roadblock was in college for basketball. Football, I could. Go wherever I wanted to. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, like, are there more people that play basketball in the states or football? You think if you, you just basketball? Have to guess. Basketball, but, but like football, you got a better chance to go because like basketball NBA is like, bro, if you're not six five, like you're playing point guard. You know what I mean? You have to be a guard. Yeah, you're right. You have to be like, a guard. You got to be a, a physical specimen to play in the NBA, and I knew that I wasn't. 
Like I'm six yeah. two, one ninety. Are you? So. Are you like you have like four brothers, right? Four little brothers. Yeah. Are you the oldest? I'm are the they? Oldest. Are, they are, you, are they taller than you? Uh, I think Jarris is. That's the third one. But that's it. Yeah, your parents are machines, man. <laughs> I have two kids, and like I, I don't think I can do any more than that, man. <laughs> no. Like, how was it growing up with five siblings? Like four siblings? I like, guess five total. Yeah. So. It was it was pretty hectic. We all we always fought and stuff. I was gonna say like 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 physically. Yeah, like physically fought. We wasn't like yelling at each other. (laughs) We was actually fighting. Uh, How much? How much older than you than like the youngest one? Um, The youngest is thirteen. I'm twenty seven, so fourteen years. (laughs) You kicking his ass then? (laughs) Yeah, I was kicking his ass. Well, he he would never come at me. I I love Caleb. Caleb loves me. The one I would kick their ass the most would be like Gentry, which he's, he's like eighteen now. 19. And you probably yeah, still I'm gonna send him this. You can still probably kick his ass. I'd still kick his ass, yeah. <laughs> no cap. Yeah. I have no <laughs> siblings, and my wife got no siblings, so, like, it's a small family for us, man. Yeah. But wait, how, how'd you meet your wife? I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna ask you questions. All right, for a cool. Minute. I love that, man. No, yeah. Thank you. So I can put some shit on IG for me, too. Yeah, let me hear some now, shit. We, we, we met on, we met at, like, a friend's party, man. It was not, it wasn't Tinder. It was, it was before Tinder. See, it was 2013. I love that shit. Yeah. That's nice because, like, you always think, like, you're going to meet a girl on, like, Instagram, Tinder, Hinge, something like that. For you, it will be, like, easy. No, 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 no. Come on. Not really. No, what? it's not as easy as you think. You don't think so? No. I mean, are you living it? But I feel like it would be easy. So this, this, this is how I envision things, okay? So if I was verified on IG, and I got thousands of followers, all right, so I, I, I you know, I just scored, it, like, two touchdowns. Let's say two touchdowns in a game, and, you know, they the red blacks post about me. Okay, now um, anybody that slides in the DM, that's there you go. Yeah, it's no, like, like you get girls in the DMs, but it's like it's not the not you, the, you can't put value in that because then it's just like there's after you because you're a football player like scoring true. touchdowns. So like anybody who scores a touchdown or like is doing good like in life, they're gonna message you know. Yeah, so it's like it's not authentic. So that's not what you want. No, nah. you want quality. Yeah, I want quality. And so you're talking about that girl. Okay, so hopefully you'll see her the day after your birthday? Yeah, maybe. Who okay. knows? So locals... Like, I don't even know. Like, it, it's, like I don't even yeah. know if like she's, like, a good girl. I've only hung out with her once. Okay. So it's just, like... Yeah. So locals for the boys. Locals for the boys, and then the next day is for the girl, correct? Okay. And wait, you did say your your wife is French, correct? She's French, yeah. Yeah. Her first say, language is French. She's got, she's got a little bit of an accent. That's yeah. so sexy, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. whenever they talk to you, and you're like... <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty to, good. Like, yeah, make out with me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, her accent's not that bad because like she she's been speaking English for a while. But I don't know who you're talking to. But like you know, but nah, if, yeah. if they're like voulu vous cliche avec moi, you know, like, yeah. that's that's what we sleep with me in French. Yeah, yeah. I, I, okay, I you know that. That it's part. off the song. You've already right? got there. You've already got. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, she she's been teaching me some French, so I've been trying French. to catch up. I mean, if you live, if you're gonna stay, if you're gonna stay at Red Black, I mean, yeah, you're gonna meet some people that speak French. And like on the Gatineau side, it's all French, right? So. Yeah, that's why I like, dude. Because like in Hamilton, it was just all like it it's was kind of like the states. Yeah, but like in Ottawa, it's like French, English. Like you get a little bit. And I live in Gatineau, so it's just I'm kind of like, you know, getting more cu- cultured. Yeah, so for I like sure. that. What's What's your favorite city in, in in Canada? Then, like, just a visit, or you don't have to. You know. Just a visit, yeah. Um, Montreal would be first, and then Ottawa really? would have been second, and then Calgary third. Over Vancouver. I don't really like Vancouver. It's not my vibe. Okay. Calgary is sick, though. Have you been to uh, Lake Louise and Banff and all that? I have. I have. Probably Calgary in, in 2019, we were there. And, you know, their girls aren't bad looking either, but uh, it was just the the city is, is not as good as Montreal or Ottawa, but yeah. it is it is really good. So you like Montreal like, for the food or what? Just the vibe? The vibe, dude. And yeah. I also remember in, in 2019, whenever I first got to Canada, I was like, yo, everyone here is, like, hot. Really? Like, all the girls were, like, proper, like, smoking cigarettes. Like, okay. I was like, yo. So it wasn't These a, girls are about that. Really? <laughs> so it wasn't a bad transition for you to come to Canada? No, like, no, like I it? loved Canada. No, I loved Canada. Because every, every American that I've ever talked to thinks, like, Canada's, like, igloos and, like, 
No, we yeah. So I thought that I was gonna be like living in a cabin, like in Canada, playing football. But it's not anything like that. <laughs> it's not right. It's really not anything like that. No. Like, yeah, that's what like, the Americans always think. Like, uh, no, I'm, every, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, like, eighty percent of Americans probably think, think that. that. Yeah. No, they definitely. Okay, think when you told your family, they were like, "What? What the hell's going on?" Yeah, I think whenever I first got up here, they they thought I was living like on a lake or like on an island <laughs> in like a log house. Yeah. Do you fish? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Because I feel like you do, like, beach, and fishing's great, man. Like, I fish in the States, man. The bass are massive there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't fish that much. My friends do. Okay. Um, But I, I do enjoy it. It's just such a damn hassle to, like, put everything, like, the hook on, like, the, the line, like, fix your fishing pole. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I like it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, You got a favorite celebration? Um, right, wait, I want to tell you, actually, your favorite celebration. I've seen this shit. First town celebration, Robin Hood. Yeah. The, I'm going to call it the Robin Hood. Yeah, or Cupid, whatever you want to call, call it. You call it Cupid? I don't call it Cupid. People call it Cupid. What do you call it then? Uh, Robin Hood. I call it the bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. <laughs> I, see, I see that on IG, the game of G, you know, like, yeah. Um, That's what I do. What, what, what do you do when you touch down? Like, I see you, like, dancing and stuff. I, I dance. Do you, a have, bit. do you have a go to? Do you think about it? No, nah, it depends, dude. I black out. Like You black out? Yeah, like, have you ever been in a fight? No. Like, uh, yeah, but uh, didn't, uh, it wasn't, like, serious. Like, it was, like, grade 7, and, like, we were just pushing, like, yeah. Yeah, no, like, no. You, you were just in, like, an altercation. Yeah. So, like, whenever you get in a fight, it's, like, you just black out, and you don't remember, like, what you did or, like, how it happened. But either you get knocked out or you knock the person out. Or, yeah, either you get knocked out or you knock the person out, and you don't really remember how. That's kind of like how I am whenever I score touchdowns. It's like only touchdowns or just a long bro, just touchdowns. Okay, and I don't know why. Like I just do shit and I don't mean to. Like I'll just run away from my teammates and I'll just be like talking shit to the other team. But yeah, I just black out. I'll do whatever is on my mind at like that time. So you have no idea. No, you idea. don't. You don't plan it. No, don't plan it. Oh, okay. So it's like it could be fucking embarrassing. No, it could you be. You do some random shit that, like, people are like, holy shit, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, but I still scored a touchdown. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's you know. Can't be that bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, yo, so, so lands down, like, uh, did, did, uh, I've never been to Hamilton, first of all. I don't, I don't know if I'm missing too much out there. Um, um yeah, the games are sick. The like, games, the, fan, the fans are the, crazy. The fans are yeah. crazy. Uh, but as far as, like, like a, living, it's, do they have like a crazy sta- area like Lansdowne? It's like yeah, it's not stadium, like Lansdowne. No, you no, got no, all no, these no, restaurants, no. And bars. It's, it's just like Dude, a sick place. Lansdowne is unique. Yeah. That is a. I hope Ottawa keeps me here forever, just because like Lansdowne, like everything else, like the fans still like twenty thousand people. Like that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And like it's they, just the area. Like, the, we've been the struggling, you know, and it's just it's crazy. Like I love Ottawa for that. You do, eh? Yeah, yeah, and like. I know one day whenever I'm here, like, we're going to start winning and stuff, and this place is going to explode. But it's yeah. just, like, it's just, like, being patient sucks. Because, yeah. like, I know with, like, how hard, like, I work, we're eventually going to get it turned around. Like, I know that for a fact. So, like, what do you sp- – you said you work really hard. So, like, what what do you say you work the hardest on? Not like, you said man. you watch like, film. Yeah, I mean, I watch film. I do all that shit like anyone else does, but, like – like, I don't want anything to be bad about Ottawa. Like, even after the games and stuff, like, I'm picking up trash in the locker room. Really? Like, I'm not trying to, like, talk myself up, but, like, I don't want anything to be bad about the Red Blacks. Really? Nothing. I don't want the locker room whenever we leave an away game to be bad. I don't want the weight room to look bad. Like. That's the energy that, like, we need in anything, man. No, that's it. That, that's how you need to live your life, honestly. It's, like, wherever you're working, that's how you need to be. Because, like. You're saying you clean you up the, the trash? trash? Yeah, I clean up the trash. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's a respect. Respect. <laughs> you, you wouldn't clean up trash? If I was a star receiver, probably not, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, like, but that's that's res- like respect. That's what I just said. Like that's that's amazing. And I'm not the only one. Like other people pick up trash too. It's not just me doing everything. Okay. Like, I, like you know, uh, there's a lot of other people doing like hell extra shit to get better too. But um, you know, it's just. You got to be patient and like stuff will eventually work out. And yeah, I, and I just want people to know that. Okay, All right, good for you, man. I I completely agree. Um, when I slid in your DMs, you talked about whiskey. You drink like whiskey. bourbon mostly. I drink whatever's 
Whatever whiskey? Whatever you got. Okay. Um, Hello, I'll drink Canadian Mist. I don't know what that is. You guys don't know what Canadian Mist is? What is that? It's in the States. It's like $8 a, a, a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wh- whoever, any American that's watching this shit, like they just sh- shit on us. We live in igloos and we drink eight dollar whiskey. <laughs> no, yeah, it's so funny because like every time I go home, I drink Canadian Mist, and all my friends are like you would get that, and it's like the you've most, been drinking that. I like the whiskey, but everyone else thinks it's dog shit. Okay, it's whatever. I like it. Okay, yeah, no, like um, so you you not too much of Scotch, mostly like do you, bourbon. I guess that's popular. Dude, honestly, I don't know shit about you. Drinks. Don't know shit. You just like. I it. thought a cider was an IPA. <laughs> do you like beer? Yeah, you do. Eh? I mean, yeah. I'll drink it. Yeah. So, like, on in in game mode, though. Yeah. You you can't be drinking every night and getting drunk. No, no, no. I'm only drinking because it's a bye week right now. Oh, okay, so you don't usually drink, or you, no, you no, can't no, get drunk. Drink. No, I don't remember the last time I got drunk, like drunk, drunk. Okay. So you got to really keep that body, and, like, your body is a temple. Yeah. Well, plus I get fat easy, so. I get fat easy, too. Like, I'll, sh- like, like I don't you, know about you. were you. actually fat? I'm short and fat. I was, like, 220. I'm 180, 190 now. Like, you're really fat? Do you have a picture? Probably. Okay, send it to me. So I can put I it right here. I, yeah, you're going you're gonna to just put it on my, put <laughs> it on the profile. You. <laughs> you were that fat? I so 6'2", like 220, fat, it's not fat. that fat. I was chubby, though. Bro, I was 5'7", 195. He's like, that's fat. That's not, that's not bad. That's pretty fat, but yeah. That's a, I, I, I've seen soccer players be that build before. And really? Really good. I feel like running backs could be like 5'7", right? Yeah. There's actually a running back uh, in the USFL that's 5'7", like 2'10", and yeah. he's dirty. Yeah, he's probably a beast. Darius Victor. Is, okay. Um, his probably center of gravity is like super low, so you yeah. can't tackle him. No, yeah, dude. That guy is a fucking bowling ball. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy, man. That guy can tote the rock. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe you could have been a running back. I could have been a running back. Yeah, that's better than a kicker. I mean, yeah. <laughs> a kicker's sick. Kicker, yo, sometimes you win a game being a kicker, though. I don't know. So. No, yeah, a, a kicker can be a real big time big time thing. Better than water boy, so. Exactly, and holder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it for me, man. I don't know if you wanted to add anything, um, but that's it for me. I'm, mm. I've, I've had a good time chilling with you, man. Yeah, dude. It's a good time chilling. It's a good time to get out day before my birthday. I, I guess I could think of some questions. What is your favorite video game of all time? I love Overwatch. And Overwatch? I, do you know Overwatch? I do. It's the it's a PC You wouldn't game. like it, man. It's cartoon. I, I don't. I don't. It, it's it's too many shots to kill someone, right? <laughs> like, you're just laying You're from Missouri. He's like, he's like, yeah. I like I, I'm a one-shot kind of guy, man. <laughs> I like a one-shot 762 by 39, and he's dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Overwatch is, like, cartoony, and, like, you jump in around, you got, like, special powers. Overwatch is like, I like 2K, man, but you shout on 2K. Yeah, so what on 2K, are you, like, playing the backyard shit, or are you playing, like, the I'm actual... Playing the park. You're playing the park, right? Yes, it's kind of fucking weak, because you're, like, you're you create your guy... In, uh, okay, uh, I'm like but, catfishing. But, but before you do this, yeah, yeah, I want to know: Is your guy Chinese on there? Or is he? Bro, like- I am Chinese, but I'm fucking seven two. <laughs> <laughs> you're seven two on the fucking yeah. girl. Well, no oh shit. If you're gonna catfish somebody on Tinder, are you gonna be fucking uh, six two and one ninety or five seven one eighty? See, bro. bro, Come what, on, bro. Whenever I'm playing FIFA, I had the decency to be like, okay, my guy's six two one ninety. I gotta fit him where he'd be best. I'm really. So, what are you playing? Why don't you have your guy just be five seven one ninety five or whatever yeah, you yeah, are because, now, and then have him play I, point guard? I'm not. I'm not fucking bowling. I'm playing basketball. Remember, five seven is not going to get you anywhere in fucking basketball, man. Hey, you never heard of Isaiah Thomas? I I know, and, and Muggsy Bogues. That's <laughs> great, but yo, like that's like a generational <laughs> talent, right? Like, yeah, you could be a generational talent in two K. Everyone would know you. They'd be like, oh, that's that that's fucking the, that's that five seven Chinese dude. Let's play with him. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then when your rating's a fucking 75, everybody just hops off. This when guy you sucks, but he's a great time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. But so you, you actually five, uh, no, you actually 6 2 on, on your FIFA? Yeah. So you put Ultimate Team? My buddy who's watching this is going to be like, no, he fucking doesn't. Because I made my guy 5'5, five, five, 99 pounds one time. And like, he was so fast. Yeah. Like, I was just running around. But yeah, normally I make him 6 1 or 6 2, 190. And then I just. I'm like, I'm going to play how I would in real life. So I play left wing, 
and I try okay. to send crosses in and maybe hit like an outside foot goal sometimes. Okay. So you you're big like what EPL person? I don't really. Not too. You don't follow too much. I I do. It's more international. Like I I get really into U.S. soccer, okay, like nice. stuff like that, and then like anything about Ronaldo. Really, Ronaldo's my favorite athlete of all time. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, he's sick, man. No, Cristiano's the goat. He's sick. If you want to live your life like the greatest you can, you need to follow Ronaldo. That guy. I don't follow him, but dedicates I know, I know his whole life sick. to being great. Really? Yes. And he manages like having a family, having a wife. Like it, it's unlike anything I've ever seen from an athlete, to be honest. Because really? like usually, you know, athletes get lost in the sauce with shit they like do. that. Yeah, they do. You yeah. know, and LeBron's pretty good with it too. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I think LeBron does it really well. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Back to favorite video games. Yeah. Overwatch and NBA. Those are my two. NBA. NBA. Two K. Two K. Two K. Let's super- see. For, I, I probably got another question. You probably not used to getting questions. Actually, I got a question for you, Jordan. Jordan, um, hop in so here. So y- yeah, so just hop in here, man. Hop in here. Oh, I'm hopping in. Yeah, hop, hop in. in. Hop the in. Timer at? Oh, shit. Just, just in case. Yeah, we got, we got eight. We got eight hop minutes. Here, uh, this is my first time on this the podcast. Is, this is the first time on on the other side of the. Uh, Jordan's first time on the podcast, Ooh. getting questions. Nice? Okay, so you played basketball, so, right? Yes, sir. I, I want to know. Because you played Canadian basketball. Yes, sir. So, like, it like basketball in the States is huge. I'm sure you know that. Mm-hmm. Like, whenever you go and play, like, did you play against Queens or, like, uh, McMaster? I mean, yeah. Yeah. So like, like, I'll be well, honest, I didn't play very long. Like, when I played at Algonquin, like, it was very, very short. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really play. I, because I was huge into photography, and I was also studying photography. And to me personally, it was a lot. Okay. I was juggling the job, I was juggling the school, and then photography was my passion. Oh, yeah, and photography is like takes a lot of work. Yeah, and I'll be honest, like, I'm good at basketball, but those those people are really good. Like, nah, yeah, and it, dude, basketball, that's what I was going to ask you, too, is because, like, that is a year-round sport. Yeah, Like, man. college basketball, people don't realize, like, those dudes are training every Constantly. single day. Constantly. Like, they, they're even there in the summer, bro. Absolutely. Like they're not, they don't have a day off. No, 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 and that's and that's why like it literally didn't last because I had school and I had work and then school and work and school and work and I just couldn't juggle all of it. No, yeah, I feel that. I was gonna ask you though, like at your games, yeah, how many people like would people actually like would the students cheer at the games? Oh and shit? hell yeah! So like it it is lit here. It's amazing, and I'll be honest. So whenever I stopped playing basketball, I actually was uh, in touch with some of the people there, and I photographed every single game. So I was actually more of a photographer for the sports games than a player, to be honest. But I actually loved it. Like, there was so much energy. The crowds were phenomenal. Everyone was super cool. Huh. And, like, super, like, motivating, too. Like, they would cheer you on. You're doing things after the game. And it was, it was, it was awesome. That's great. Dude, like, in the States, I didn't know that Canada even had colleges until I came up here. Like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> but you know why? It's because like TSN blocks everything block from it. going to the states. So like, yeah. we don't know anything. We need like a VPN or something. <laughs> yeah, it, that's ridi- that's ridiculous that you guys can't watch ESPN here. Mm. Yeah. TSN blocks it. But yeah. isn't that crazy? Like you guys can't watch UFC fights. You guys can't watch really anything. Pay per view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pay per view, but like we. The fact that U.S. people, because I know plenty of U.S. people that would watch, like, they love sports. Like, U.S. people love sports. They don't give a fuck, like, who's playing it. They would watch, like, Canadian college basketball. I think they on. would. They really would. I swear to God. And to be honest, you ever see any of those, like, Bro. viral videos where, like, you know, whole, whole like, everybody's cheering and things like that. You know, people are making half-court shots or whatever at the last second. Bro, that, that shit happens everywhere. Everywhere. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, and I feel like some of them are probably Canadian. And Canada has some good talent. And, like, if you have some energy in the stands, like... Fuck, bro. I've watched Wake Forest versus UAB in basketball. <laughs> and I don't know either of those schools. I've never been to Wake Forest, never been to Alabama, Birmingham. But I just like watching sports. Like, that's how all U.S. people are. And yeah. so I feel like if you if you want to grow your game, why are we blocking it from people in the United States? Like, TSN either needs to merge with ESPN or some, something needs to happen with TSC, TSN and MLSE. It's another reason I don't like Toronto. Fuck MLSE. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. They own the CFL too, I think. So I got to watch what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me though. I appreciate that question. Yeah, no problem. I, I, I love asking questions because I don't know much about Canada, Fair but enough. I want to know, you know? Yeah. So I appreciate you guys having me. No, it was no, a good thanks, time. Thanks for having me, dude. It's awesome. All right. Yeah, Charles, we'll put you back on. Jordan, step it up. <laughs> Yo, so I, want, I wanted to ask you one last thing before, you, if you have any questions. But yo, that tattoo, you got a tattoo today? Day oh your yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna show them on on camera. You wanna show them the the Louis V? Yes, I did get a tattoo for my birthday. Tell me that inspiration. It's yo, nothing, keep, dude. I'm it's not, nothing. Eh? I'm just I'm just grew up poor and I could never get Louis V, so I'm kind of. Just like F Louis V. But you can get some now. Probably. You can get some now. But I'm not going to. I'm I'm sticking with winners. Yeah. Winners, Marshalls, and Ross. Yo, but uh, if you, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a smart way to do it because like you see people just spending all their money trying to flex. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really like, I'm not spending money. I'm not in the fancy things though. Like I'm into like, just like genuine yeah. Genuine things. You I know? feel like that. I feel like, uh, yeah, that's, that's the vibe I got when I first just like DM'd you and was like, hey, Come on the podcast. Yeah. You're genuine. You're not like, yeah, nothing just, crazy. Just say what you want, and then, like, if I don't like it, I'll let you know, but I'm not going to hold anything personal. Yeah. You know? Just like me, I'd be saying too much shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's that one thing that you wanted to ask about Canada you said? You what? said, like, you said, like, oh, I don't know too much about Canada, but, like, if, um, not to put you on the spot, if you had a question, you could ask me. I'm not, I, I wasn't born here, but I've been here for, like, 26 years. Are you? So. Are you talking about like girls in Canada being hotter than American? Yeah, we can talk about that. No, what was the um, other thing? What were you wanting to say? Cause you, you know, because you're like, oh, Jordan, like, the, I, he was like, thank you for asking me the question. And you're like, yeah, because I don't really know too much about Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's why I could have a whole damn podcast myself asking Canadians questions, honestly. Really? Like, bro, you guys call kickball soccer, basketball, or whatever? Soccer, baseball. Soccer, baseball? <laughs> that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. But it is soccer, baseball, though. Not is really. It not? It's kickball. But think about it. You're playing soccer. You're kicking the ball in a baseball diamond. Soccer, baseball. Just kickball. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call football soccer rugby. Hey, yeah, you got a fo- touche. <laughs> you're right. Uh, but, yeah, no, you know what? Uh, you said you love the girls out in Canada. So, I mean. Um, only one girl now. Uh, only one girl. <laughs> She's. She'd get She's mad. Probably, she we, we were like, we were like texting earlier, and she was like, well, "So, like, what are you gonna say if they ask you?" Because I knew you guys were probably gonna ask me. Because this is a fun I've podcast. Talked about, it's not like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, they're gonna ask me about girls, and I was like, I'll, I'll say like, "You're my girl" or whatever. But like, if they ask me questions about others, I'm just gonna be honest, you know. <laughs> you're and you're I, a fucking legend, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I am. I'm honest, but you're yeah. She's cool. We'll see. She's cool. We'll see how it goes. I will. Yo, I'm gonna I'd love to have an Thursday. Ottawa girl and then stick here with the boys and then just vibe. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you you you'd fit in, man. Like you 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 got that Canadian vibe, but you're just nice, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, the states people are nice, but whatever. you think so? I feel like like you've, you've been around too many East Coast U.S. people. Are West Coast people nicer? West Coast people are dicks too. You got to get in the center. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> I've, I like, like this. I think the Canadians' stereotype for the the U.S. is that like you're all mean and like yeah. No, nah, yeah. You don't know anything about anything besides America. No, yeah, they they don't though. <laughs> so they legit, really that's don't. the stereotype. But like can, Canadians don't even know anything about the states. They think that they do, but they don't. <laughs> no, I think I do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. they're, they're like, oh, you guys are all like divided. Like, there's so many problems. There's really not, dude. It's the same. It's the same lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> I come here, don't skip a goddamn beat, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm just the same. Yeah. It's the same shit. All right, cool, man. Let's let's wrap it up. Yeah. It was an amazing time. Appreciate it. We're playing golf, golf tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Legit? Golf. Yeah. All right. Nine, I want to book 30, a 930 Gatineau. Gatineau. Oh, we'll do somewhere near you so that you, you can sleep in and, uh, yeah. Crack open a couple beers. I'm going to bring some. And then I'll probably beat you. But whatever. Yeah? <laughs> no, hell no, I won't. All right, if uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not that nice, man. I'm I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not average, man. Either. Look at me, bro. How come how nice can I be, bro? <laughs> but John Daly was good too. No, John <laughs> Daly was good. But I, I appreciate you guys having me. Yeah, man. Anytime, maybe after the season, sometime. I'll yeah, let's do something. Yeah, yo, I'm gonna come account. down to Mississippi sometime. Yo, if you want to come down to Mississippi, I got. I need to get a boat. I don't got one yet. <laughs> yeah, but I'll yo, I, we'll, I love we'll go going down south, man. Yeah, for like sure. I yeah. can take you around. All right, man. 
You're the man. Appreciate Thank it. you, man. Yeah, appreciate Take care. it. That was legendary. That was good. That was a fun time, man.